Hi, I'm Chris Mirabella from the Marsland Foundation. I'm standing at the Bray Oval where today Marsland hosted the Victorian School Rugby Union Championships. For many people, for many people in the Marsland community, this ground is unrecognisable because it's a rugby ground. And I'm delighted to have the head of Marsland Rugby, Justin Carroll, with me, who's going to tell me how today went. Justin, how did today go? Chris, it was a great day. We, uh, we had a lot of very competitive fixtures on all ovals and it obviously culminated in the final here in the Division 1 final between St Kevin's and St Patrick's. A little one-sided in the end, but that, that wasn't unexpected. But a fantastic day and a really good display on what Marcelin can offer. And how did the Marcelin boys feel about playing on the Bray Oval? Oh, look, it was a real thrill for them and the looks on their faces was priceless. We've still got one of the best surfaces in Victoria down there on the Gartner Fields, but to come up here on the Bray, which obviously has the history and, uh, and really is only a cricket and an AFL oval, it was a real thrill for them and they played accordingly. And the people who were in Victorian rugby, how did they feel about how today went? Oh, they were stunned by what we could provide and the facilities we could provide. And, you know, our whole community got behind us. The parent support group were magnificent, the school administration team and obviously everyone involved in the rugby program to be able to stage such a big day and there, it was a success all, all around. This year Marcelin is celebrating 20 years of rugby. What does this mean for the program at the college? Well, I just think it just shows that it's not so much a second tier sport anymore. It's up there as a, a main sport and boys can actually choose to do it over perhaps traditional Victorian sports, which is what we want to see. Um, rugby survive as a standalone sport here at the school, but our numbers are good and the, the program's always growing, which is fantastic. And to the people who can't believe that rugby and football can coexist in the same uh, school, Marsland College last week and, and last two weeks have won soccer, AGS premierships and uh, AFL premiership uh, just one week ago uh, and we've got a very competitive rugby program. That just must be a wonderful, this must speak heaps for the way the school is structured and the way it's geared up to accommodate young men in sport. Oh absolutely and I think it's, uh, it's really important to, as long as they're out there doing something they enjoy it's physical fitness, they develop as young men and as sportsmen in whatever they choose to do and I think the, uh, the us and them barriers are coming down and we can all coexist and uh, with the numbers we've got here at the school it's great to give the boys uh, options. Well congratulations on your part in this, I'm sure you've had quite a substantial part and, uh, and the boys uh, look up to you and um, well done and we're looking forward to great rugby adventures in the years to come. Thanks Chris, thanks for all your support. So Simon, would you ever have envisaged 20 years ago this is what Marston would look like at the rugby? No, it's, it's amazing to see where the, where the sports come from. It's uh, very uh, early embryonic days where we barely had 15 kids who knew what rugby was to what it's become today. It's quite, quite extraordinary and um, yeah, I just can't believe how, how far it's come from, from where it all began. And uh, in those days we actually didn't have a field to practice. I went to practice behind or uh, underneath the, uh, the gym. So the fact that we've now got three games going on the main ovals all at uh, once today is just a, an extraordinary thing to see. So, so who else was important? Who was important back in those days on the staff? Oh, well, Kevin Culliver started it all. Um, if it wasn't for Kevin, um, I think we'd be harassing Paul Herrick to make sure we get rugby youth program up and running. We wouldn't be here now, but yeah, Kevin was an extraordinary influence. Um, to, to get everything up and going and it was his hard work which has led to, to this and obviously Simon Strawn who was the, the previous head of rugby and now Justin who I met a couple of weeks ago. Um, obviously it's come a really long way from yeah, when, um, when Kevin started rugby and uh, we started playing. So. And how do you feel seeing the boys running around on the Bray Oval? What was your first reaction when you got here today? I couldn't quite believe it, having uh, been here and watched the first 13 go around for many years and I was the first 11 and uh, played cricket out here to see rugby on the first on the main oval is just uh, extraordinary and uh, just seeing the uh, statue of uh, Father John and thinking well I'm sure he never thought in his time he would have seen rugby out here either you know so it's just amazing to see what, what this day's brought to the school and how, how things have progressed. So. Congratulations Simon on your part in all of this. <laughs> A very small part but anyway. So. How's the day been? Yeah, good. Busy, busy. You're actually going to get to see any rugby? No, well, I did get to see some before. I watched uh, the game over there against Scott College. It was a shame we lost. Did you have someone playing? No, no. My kid's in year seven, so he's, they missed out this year. But uh, maybe next year with any luck. Well, he's got a few years to go. So, so, yeah, that's right. That means you've got five more years of volunteering. Yeah, tell me about it. And who are, who are we talking to today? Leanne and Louisa. And, Louisa. and your mum, you got sons playing? Uh, we're past mums. Oh. We're, the, we're our sons? Yeah, 20, 22, 21. Yeah, so 2012. 
And no, you're 2011, yep. 2012, 2013, and 2014. And what makes you keep coming back to do this? Oh, we just love it. Love it. <laughs> what and else we is only there have to do? do it once a year. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's no. good. It's been a. We're it's... still friends with the people that organise it. Yeah. Did you ever think you'd see this day where uh, Rugby was played over here on the Bray Oval? Never. Never. We tried for Absolutely years Absolutely not. Years. <laughs> so Never saw it. I imagine there's a lot of diplomacy involved. Uh, uh, well, I've got a couple of sons that are very jealous. <laughs> very jealous of these boys playing on the Bray. And they never got to. Yeah. But anyway, better late than never. Yeah. So how's the, how's the food store going? So nice, cool day. They're eating what? Yes, yeah, steady yeah. stream of people. Bacon and egg rolls are a hit. Well, congratulations to both of you for past deeds and what you're doing today. Well done. No worries. Thank you. Thank you. So, Andrew, how's it going today? Look, uh, we couldn't be more pleased with the turnout and the uh, the weather is really great and so we're, uh, we're thankful for that. Um, we're trying to sell as many burgers and uh, as much food as possible to you know, make some more money for the uh, rugby. And uh, but we've got a great team of volunteers, and everybody's been, you know, really pulling hard behind the scenes. So uh, you know, it's really great to see all the work that's been done. So yeah. it's 20 years for Marston Rugby this year. So is it a fitting way to have uh, celebrated that? Oh, absolutely. I mean, we've uh, we couldn't have asked for uh, a better year to hold the uh, grand finals here at Marston. And um, 20 years ago, when it all started, and that was long before my time, but uh, I'm very uh, proud to be a part of it this year. And um, yeah, it's very fitting to have the finals. Yeah, okay. I, was, I, I bet you're looking almost sort of in a way looking forward to the day being over, is that right? Uh, there'll be a lot of sighs of relief by the end of the day, but uh, we're enjoying it whilst it lasts. Yeah. Well, good luck for the rest yeah. of the day, Andrew. Yeah, thanks, Chris, and thank you for, uh, to everyone for helping and uh, for supporting the event. So, Kevin, how's it gone today? The finals today have been absolutely spectacular. The uh, array of scenes here right across the three pitches at Marsland, uh, wonderful turf pitches, uh, wonderful crowds, uh, the amphitheatre around Bray Oval, it's been a spectacular event. It's come a long way since your involvement at the schools, uh, in the school's rugby program, hasn't it? Well, it's from uh, very small beginnings back in 1996 that really has come a long way. 20th anniversary this year, started out with a little team of year seven and eights and now it's uh, full strength and right through the school and here they are uh, playing on the Bray Oval in uh, Division One of the Victorian Schools Rugby Union. Did you ever think you'd see this day? Well, I, uh, I suppose I could only have ever dreamed. Uh, I thought I might see it, but I may have been on a walking stick by then. And Justin Carroll, he and his uh, volunteers have done a great job, haven't they? A very special part of Marcelin life here is the parent group. The uh, parents, as I've witnessed over these last few days, uh, get together and pitch in. It's a very special nature of uh, Marcelin Rugby, is the parent group. And yes, Justin Carroll is the current teacher in charge. He's been uh, a breath of fresh air to the place and brought uh, a great deal of uh, professionalism to the coaching and the coordination between the parents and the staff and the VSRU. Yes, he's a special man. And Leon Moore, never, he, he, he refuses to have his photo or video taken of himself, but uh, he and his team have done an amazing job to get the grounds up. Late last night, as the drizzle was falling, he was still here working hard. Leon Moore, and the way he pre presents these fields is amazing. All these years that he's been here, back when the days of the Commonwealth Games, all the way through some uh, significant events, and the way he's presented the school today is very, very special. The best in the city. Well, Kevin, congratulations to the VSRU and to you for your Marston connection and your, your role in getting Marston Rugby to where it is. Thank you very much and congratulations Marston College.